was out to the park nearby and found a lady and kid. And kid, she told me, is Chinese, one year and a half old, very cute, and she's from Brazil. She may be 33 years old, somewhere around there. She told me she used to be a criminal lawyer in Brazil. Now she's taking care of the kids and seems to enjoy what she does compared to what she did before. I watch the kid and he mimics me and smile, very gentle. We walked around and get to know, took some pictures. It's a pleasant time and I picture what's in his mind, how he absorbs the world. And I'm sure lots of things happening in his brain and body to adjust to this environment, learn how to live. But at this age, I felt he is purely like here and now. If I may say so, mind is empty, yet he has this perception, whatever the case may be, who I am. This guy standing, talking, mimicking. And all the breeze coming by and the sunlight, leaves swinging, branches swimming, swinging in the breeze. It was a pleasant time. Today I just had a lunch and uh, since I had the fish, I usually eat outside. The cats came by and I gave a few bits and pieces and took some pictures wanting to share that title of this being the here and now. I talked about the Garden of Eden. We came from there, but we may go back to get to know the law of nature, not to be too much occupied in the mind. So if you imagine you go back there, you're like this kid, year and a half, old, or the cat, no mind, being in here now. Very peaceful time, and it's so funny to watch cat because they don't demand things. They seem to accept everything as it is. No frustration. But some smell of the fish may attract them, but uh, when I give some pieces, they don't say thank you. And I can feel the cat's mind are very peaceful, calm, quiet and they are all being here now as much as the flowers, the leaves or bed, chair, table at the state of being. How can I connect this sense of being in the now or how to characterize that one thing. But I use lots of words like um, transparency or blissful sensation, inner body sensation, resonance to the way. It's just word. But the other Zen-like expression is no mind. Mind is calm and quiet, peaceful very attentive to what's going on. What's going on externally, but also internally. No barrier, no boundaries. So, when I thought about sharing the idea 
the way nothing is everything. I couldn't come out how to explain it. It's a famous Zen saying, I don't know, I didn't even check if who said when and if there's a koan, some explanation. But the sense of everything is like I mentioned in the emptiness, the void, stillness of being in the here and now. The external world, what's happening, and the internal world of who I am. And because the mind is calm and quiet, no mind, nothingness. So it can go from the tiny bit to the infinite space without any blockage. And you may feel the vibration of the cells in your body, like a blissful sensation, that may point that you are one with the way of the universe, or the universe, or the nature. Way of nature. Mind is empty. And that's peace. And at the Garden of Eden, in the Garden of Eden, I'm pretty sure that's how everything is. And we can go back there when we when we know that we may be kicked out when we start to use the mind, words, logic, as it may have happened with. The kids, I like this kid, year and a half old. Things are happening in there. The beginning is the word. And the construct of how to play with it. And you have the transient or the change from the Garden, Garden of Eden state to what's good and bad, dangerous, safe, beautiful, angry, rich, poor, to do, not to do, all of that. And after a while, after three years of age, seven and twelve and on, the neuron network develops in the brain get heavier to carry all the information and the structure to go with it. But still, the origin of where we came from, if you go all the way back into the time when you are in the egg, you know, one cell and then the male, female cells together, and divide into 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Oh, oh, did I do it right? 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and on and on to keep on dividing to get the who we are. But the origin is somewhere in the back, and that continues all the way in the human evolutionary process. So you can say the Garden of Eden is here. And the source of that evolution is happening as a way of the nature or universe. Everything is here now and being changed, evolved. The wisdom of the nature is infinite and we are just to be at this moment that we are 
the evidence of the evolution and to the point that we can relate to possibly to that infinite space even if our mind is empty how do we do that? I cannot answer that question it's just a miracle and I tend to believe all the wisdom and compassion is part of the miracle that I was wondering about especially the compassion how it came about but it's beyond the mind but the part of the way of the universe that infinite wisdom compassion and we witness it we exemplify it and may have fun in the process of our life